and good morning everyone welcome back to another episode of Unplugged TV sunny Australia it's not hot anymore 16 degrees this morning car has just finished charging and we have to prepare let me just quickly we have to prepare the EVSE for this afternoon because 15 amp full power so this morning I'm trying to be super efficient on my driving for some reason the charge has stopped at 97-98% uh, um, with a full charge I don't know exactly why but um, again this is just a guess of the BMU again showing a number on the dog on the display <laughs> the battery was at 4.1 volts so fully charged but the percentage so it was one ampere out down I need full capacity today so I'm finishing finishing up at work at uh, 3 30 already today driving home and then I have to recharge as much as possible because we have to go back to Gatton this afternoon yeah tonight is the grand opening of my wife's exhibition at the cultural center in Gatton here in the art gallery so of course she's very excited and this grand opening is only a few hours away now But uh, when I came home, I probably will be at about 55% state of charge. So I need as much capacity as possible, of course, for the second trip tonight. And I've got only one and a half hours left until we are going again. So EVSE, 15 amp, full power. And charge as much energy into the battery as possible after I come home. So, and in terms of the PHEV, no further loss of capacity so far. The car is doing exceptional well. I haven't used any petrol at all this week. Nothing, zero. I had a couple of um, customer appointments, which I could all do in full electric mode. This is how the car is supposed to work now. Optimal range, EV range, optimal performance, a strong healthy battery that's unfortunately the club has not opened today so there's no way to charge oh well okay so we are at 74 uh, percent which is a little bit under 30 ampere hours they have built up a, a big solar array on the cultural center last year but um, they have forgotten to install car chargers at the same time it is a shame if if I just would have a see on this building of the fire station here if they would have one two three four just four power points mounted on this wall or mark them green and then we could all charge our cars over there so we could four stations here in the middle of the city that would be ideal and it won't cost much you could potentially install a level 2 charger from charge point here. You've got your little swipe card. You can charge your car with 7.7 .7 kilowatt then here. But a simple 15 amp power point, four of them here in a row for each car park, would be totally fine. So just in an emergency you can charge your car. And of course you attract drivers of electric vehicles here to the city. But at the moment here in town is only one charger, which is the one at the um, motel. But it's not a public charger, it's only a Tesla destination charger for guests who are staying in the hotel. So they can charge their Tesla there. I have sent them an email when they popped up on PlugShare and asked them if this is public. No, it's not. It's just for their guests. That's what they usually do in these motels and um, yeah no public charger in this whole area apart from the UQ what a shame I've got the same situation here on this car park here 
there could be some just some power points on this side of the wall for this um, car spaces here and we could just um, charge the cars here very slowly now it let's see with this missing charging opportunity today it brings me in this difficult situation that I have to recharge the car straight when I come home and I've got only one and a half hours or so to fill up the car as much as possible Ah, it would be so much easier if we have some possibilities here just to plug in the car and trickle charge. I could charge on one amp, you know, I've got all the time during work. It could be very, very low powered, you know. I've I've seen a documentary um, quite a while back from Asia somewhere. Was it Thailand or Singapore or somewhere? They had this massive underground car park for um, from a shopping mall or something. And they had power points everywhere. Every single car space had their power point. They've got a barcode on it, a QR code. You scan this with your app and this activates this exact power point and you get obviously charged for the, for your, for the energy you are using. But this was just such a simple and effective process, you know. Scan the barcode, activate the power point, plug in, go shopping, come back and you're done such simple things in life and it doesn't cost much it doesn't need to be a high power station all the time or a dc fast charging station all the time this is fine along the highways and along the motorways where you do long travel long journey travels and everything but here in town in urban environments normal power point plug in trickle charge not here in australia here's nothing They've got nothing here. And I guess a lot of people are a lot of people are holding back at the moment with buying electric vehicles because there are not many available here in Australia. We know they are coming in the next couple of years. So I think a lot of people are holding back, they're holding on to their existing cars like I do at the moment, you know, because there's not the right car on the market. And to be honest, I would not know what to what to buy at the moment. In this price class, forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars, there is nothing what I would buy. I probably would not buy the Model Three either. Um, I don't like the door handles. I don't like the the boot situation with this little tiny lid. This is just not the car which suits me, which would suit my needs. I need something with a tow bar. And I don't want these door handles. <laughs> Probably I look into the Model Y when it comes out in a couple of years. But again, this is all a way future. We don't know what happens until then. So until then, PHEV, it will be. Yeah, so guys, it looks like I'm sticking with this piece of sh wonderful technology for quite some time. Okay, so let's have a look our way home and hope for a little yes what well, plus 1.1 ampere hours which gives us 30.7 well, we need to go home and I've got range anxiety really I tell you this car makes me fear there's always yeah I'm I'm always very very anxious to use any petrol in this car here I'm trying to do all my trips on pure electric as far as possible. I'm not driving sportive, even the dog shows me that every time with every trip. I'm trying to be efficient as possible with this car to get the most out of it and to um, save the planet of course. And this small battery and the 50 km range, this gives me range anxiety. If the car would have a 120 kilowatt hour battery and you have 600 kilometers of range, you would not care. Well, you would not care to drive efficiently. You would just drive as a normal car and accelerate harder. And you wouldn't let the car coast and all this kind of stuff. You wouldn't be driving efficiently. If you have such a big battery, I don't think you would. Because you're at home, you just plug it in and charge it up again. You wouldn't care. But here in the Outlander, only eight or nine kilowatt hour available. You will drive efficiently. Yeah, 
so the car and the dog both shows us uh, 17 kilometers so if I get another 20 kilometers in there we should be totally fine so charger is already prepared 15 amp full power come on every second counts yeah 14.2 amps there is a little bit of power coming from the solar panels, but we've got cloudy sky, so not too much. But uh, the rest is still coming from renewable energy, so it's all good. Ah, so we charged already 7.2 ampere hours since we got here. 72 percent. Ooh, and have a look at this. The state of health has just dropped again while charging. Well, guys that is not good that is not good this should not happen it um, shows something is not working as expected with the triple procedure at least on my car I don't know maybe I don't know if the other guys are always having the dog with them and and measure but as, an, as you know I'll do it every time every single time and this is very very disappointing okay let's have a look Battery conditions, uh, 4, 6, 37, 100, 100, 160 kilometers, another drop. Is not expected at all that we have another drop of state of health just after 160 kilometers. This is the second drop. That is not good. That is not good. okay let's um well guys the frustration is real i had this bad gut feeling for a while that something may not work and it looks like it really does not work at least not in my car i wanted to make this nice video today and show you the the drawings and paintings my wife did which are now hanging in the art gallery but um, it is just, I'm so disappointed of this car, of Mitsubishi, that they don't get things right. Well, the triple procedure looked very, very promising. It, it worked on the first and the second car, and my one is the third one, and for some reason it doesn't work. Was there too much time between the actual battery replacement and the triple procedure? It just doesn't make sense. This should not happen. The BMU should not fall that quickly mm. so and we are right on time for another spectacular sunset here so we are now at 88 percent 37 kilometers i probably need 38 kilometers but i drive slowly So guys, we now have arrived back home. Nine kilometers left here, eight kilometers left. No problem at all. The battery is so unbelievable strong and powerful. So much capacity. There was no, no trouble at all to go back to Getten and back home. So amazing, amazing, amazing. Still, we have lost. So this was um, almost 400 kilometers. And then we had only 167 or something between these drops here. 10 days, 4 days. Just not good. Well, I've sent an email to Mitsubishi already with a screenshot of the dog and complaining about the about another drop in health of the battery. So, 
I don't know. At least it keeps the channel going. It keeps the channel interesting because something is obviously happening. Something is not working as it should. Um, not. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> interesting weeks and months ahead again. I don't know. So we will see what Mitsubishi responds next week to this situation here. And then we go from there. So, I mean, of course, these 0 0.2 ampere hours, I cannot feel this degradation, whatever it is. Well, the battery feels super, super strong, super strong. Again, tonight, see, I've got at least three blue bars left there. Sorry for this really long video. It wasn't supposed to be long like this because I was just, I wasn't aware the state of health is falling. But I wanted to include this in the in today's video to keep you guys as up to date as possible. I don't want to delay anything with my information here. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for coming with us to the art exhibition tonight. And as always, you stay charged and we will see us in the next video coming out very soon. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye.